this Oscar de la Renta? I don't think I've ever worn. Aren't it good doggy? I don't think it's a novel that will be beneficial or entertaining. Happy first day of March. I am wearing a very cozy outfit today with my cropped sweatshirt and actually my heat tech underneath because it's still a little bit cold. And then my Zara knitted vest over and then my boring old Brandy Melville sweatpants. Happy Thursday! It is the second day of March and yep, as per usual, I just wear the same pair of sweatpants. And I think you would have seen this um, cardigan. I'm just wearing it as a sweater last month as well. This is from Rehoas. I really love pairing this sweater with my heat tech underneath because somehow the eyelash material together with heat tech just instantly makes me super super warm. It's travel day. I am going to San Diego for a quick weekend trip. So I am wearing my essentials sweatshirt, um, a just basic white tee underneath, and then over my vintage, this Oscar de la Renta, I think it was like the steal of the century. Like I got it for $8 or something. <laughs> Um, which is a really nice oversized wool coat and then my mango full leather pants as well as at the bottom I'll be wearing my Air Force Ones. Lazy Sunday mornings hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you Play your favorite movie laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two That corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me home With you I never feel alone These little songs Make me glad to call you mine And you have got my head in the clouds I'm wearing heat tag underneath as you can kind of see from here because it's actually somewhat cold here so hope the heat tag will keep me warm and I love this shirt from Naked Fashion reminds me of Izumiyaki and I love the sleeve detail as well matches really well with the floral jeans from H&M last year and then my Tory Burch little crossbody bag. I'm going for whites and creams and greens today. Even my phone case as well. All that I need is your body next to me on rainy days. Just need your company, don't need too much. Just your simple love and it's everything. The simple joy of hearing your voice every morning. I wake to a kiss on my face. So oh, I don't need too much. Just your simple love and it's have a very colorful outfit on this fine Tuesday. I'm wearing my yellow cashmere sweater paired with my blue H&M um, sweatpants. Sweater is from Tory Burch and then this vest is also from Tory Burch but I love how it's really cropped in this beautiful lime green. It is Wednesday. I am going to a happy hour and thought I would show you my I think it's a sporty slash dressy casual outfit. <laughs> it's an all-in-one outfit really. I have my mango kind of fleckered design sweater that matches perfectly with my tweed pants from Tory Burch, my Air Force Ones, and then the puffer jacket also from Tory Burch as well as my crossbody bag. Another day, another sweater. These are the Uniqlo ones and then this is one of my favorite sweaters because I love the almost like, you know, birthday spring coat type of uh, specked effect on this sweater. Oh, I realized yesterday I was wearing also a specked sweater, but I love how colorful this one is, but also keeping the general tone pretty neutral and the stripes make it 
a little bit more casual. It is Friday afternoon. I am wearing my cashmere sweater. And as you can see, I have like heat tech underneath to stay cozy and to be extra cozy. I also have this eyelash knit vest from Rehoas. The sweater um, is from Ma and Bo. And then H&M pants. I just filmed an outfit video, so excuse the mess, but I love this sunset lighting. So I thought while I'm in the styling mood, I would show you an outfit if I were to go out today. So this sweater from H&M you would have seen many a times in various videos. This is truly my favorite sweater ever. Corduroy mini skirt from H&M, which ties really well with the Boo Today loafers that I paired with my hands socks to create this schoolgirl vibe. Adding this pair of socks really ties the whole outfit together. So you have cream, brown, and then creamish white, and then brown almost like a little sandwich effect. Happy Sunday. I am going to a very exciting Holly event, um, which kind of requires you wearing all white and looking at my outfit. I only have like a white hoodie underneath, so hopefully that's good enough. Um, and I'm wearing my H&M joggers. <laughs> When we are together, we always have fun throughout the day. Happy Monday. It is very busy today, so I'm also just wearing the same sweater that I wore many a times. It is super snowy and windy today, so I got extremely lazy with my outfit. I mean, at this point, it's barely styling because I just have... Did I wear the same pair of sweatpants yesterday? Probably, yes. And this Rehoas cardigan, which the only new thing I did was to layer this orangey, yellowy um, sweater underneath. I quite like the yellow and blue pairing. It's the next day and I'm just showing you another way of styling this yellow sweater. I think yesterday I wore it under my blue cardigan and today I am busting out the green one. This is from Urban Outfitters. I got it actually from Buffalo Exchange. I just really love how cropped it is. I think cropped cardigans are the ones for me because they just make my legs look long and uh, yes, wearing the exact same sweatpants. Happy Thursday! I am just running some errands so I thought I would show you my outfit outside. I think maybe for the first time this month. I am wearing my Jimmy Choo sunglasses and my vintage mascara and a sweater. My Prada re edition. My pants are mango outfits and just Adidas sneakers at the bottom. Friday night, I actually just got home from a concert, so I thought I would show you my outfit before I change into my pajamas. I actually quite like today's outfit. I'm gonna stand a little bit further so you can see a little better. It is a oversized blazer plus full leather shorts combo. Jacket is from Naked Fashion. I have the matching striped pants as well. I just love how it's like masculine. It has big shoulder pads, which also makes my head look a lot smaller. 
which is always the goal. Tory Burch patent leather bag with like shirling trimming. And the full leather shorts are from Zara. My um, booties are from Everling, the knitted booties that match perfectly with the blazer. Now underneath, I have my mango turtleneck sweater that is really comfortable, great for layering. And then I have my vest, which is from Rehoas. I thought that this is a cool uh, layering look because of all the black underneath and then just layering this kind of cropped um, vest that just adds a bit more texture. I love the tweed contrasting with the full leather material. Happy Saturday. I am filming a couple of videos in Soho. So I'm currently in Maywell and I thought I would show you my outfit. Actually, this mirror I think has slightly better lighting. Um, I am wearing my Theory Vintage jacket. It's like a wool jacket, so it's really warm. And then my Rehoa's um, sweater, as well as my mango long sleeve shirt to layer. And then over, I have my H&M um, book toady little bag. It's really comfortable to wear, especially on a shopping trip. Then also H&M corduroy white light pants with my Wu Today platform loafers. To get your attention when you say you love me, I seem to ascend to the heavens above where we fall in love. I don't know what I would do without you. Happy St. Patty's weekend. She just um, ate and uh, drank a lot of water. That's why her mouth is like completely wet. Happy Sunday. I have the dog with me here and the cat's on the bed too. <laughs> but about to take the doggy out. It is actually really, really cold today. And I'm pleased to announce that <laughs> Yesterday, I bought a new pair of sweatpants so you don't have to see my blue sweatpants literally every single day. This is basically the H&M sweatpant but in an even better cut. So I thought I would stand more in the back for you to see. It is very much white leg. I also love the seam in the front center. This is from the brand Velvet. I got it from a sample sale. Super, super comfortable and soft and on top i have my cashmere sweater underneath my thickest heat tech just so i am extremely protected as well as my cream color beanie happy monday i thought i picked a cool background to stand i think um the brooklyn museum was doing um a mugler uh, exhibit so that's why they have these all over brooklyn but i am just Walking the dog. Okay, so, like, can you see her? I have my Tory Burch kind of tweed jacket thing me on, and then my cropped cardigan underneath, and then the bottom is very boring. Just my Brandy Melville sweatpants that you all probably stick up from looking at. It is Tuesday. I am just running a quick errand, and I thought I would show you my outfit. I have my H&M striped sweater on pairing with the mango pants and then these really comfortable vivaya slippers it is wednesday i am i think wearing the exact same outfit as yesterday it's just been really busy it is thursday today i'm wearing a, another colorful outfit i have my tory birch sweater on with the zipper i find it just really perfect for the springtime because it's like a cotton knit material and it's extremely soft and at the bottom with my H&M joggers. It is Friday night. I am going out for dinner with my friends and I just realized I believe last Friday when I went to concert I was also wearing this same jacket as well as the um, Everlane knitted booties. They're just really comfortable and I like the navy on navy as well as my pants also navy and my Tory Burch cardigan. Inside, it's also um, a Tory Burch kind of pattern top. I just really like the tiring of um, blues and the 
browns with rest of the outfit and then I figure before it gets too warm I can still wear this bag a few more times it is last year or two years ago from mango it's this like shirling full shirling little baggy that is really cute and It is Saturday night and I'm wearing my favorite green cropped cardigan from Urban Outfitters. I actually think the graphic tee really ties the whole outfit together because there's the blue bits that match with the blue sweatpants and then the yellow um, matches quite well with this like light yellow button detail. Happy Sunday! I am filming another video but thought I would show you my outfit. I'm wearing my um, vintage tweed cropped jacket and underneath my Tory Burch vest, French Connection sweater. I think I've worn this combination before. Um, my vintage Chanel Tory Burch tweed maxi skirt as well as my store Wiseman boots. I really like this layering look for a very sunny Sunday. All that I need is your body next to me on rainy days. Just need your company, don't need too much. Just your simple love and it's every day. The simple joy. What a beautiful Monday morning. I am walking Hazel again thought I would show you my outfit outside because I'm um, finally feeling all the spring vibes wearing actually quite a lot but it's so so warm I probably don't need to wear this much I have my Zara wrapped cardigan my Martin Bow denim jacket as well as a hand sweatpants I'm show you my workout outfits. The top is from Lululemon and the biker shorts are from Tory Burch. I highly recommend these biker shorts or if you get any biker shorts, just get them in tie-dye because it's just really flattering and you can't even see like the lines of your underwear. I have just washed my hair so waiting for it to dry. I feel like I haven't worn my hair long in a very very long time because I just like my hair to be away from my face um, but I am wearing a very cozy outfit tonight with this cute little t-shirt that says Cape Cod I got it as a gift from my mother-in-law and um, my H&M sweatpants as well as a really cozy eyelash knit kind of coat again I am heading out for dinner with a few friends and here is the outfit. I believe I wore this last month. This is my super long Tory Burch coat. And then underneath, I have my old Topshop cashmere sweater. I love the shoulder detail and it keeps me really warm. And then at the bottom, Tory Burch tweed pants. Goes really well with the um, tweed coat. And then my boot today booties as well as this handmade crochet bag that my aunt gave me. I featured it in my quarterly favorites video. It is the morning of the last day of March. So welcome to the near end of this video. I just wanted to come out here and show you my very last outfit, which is a very simple one. Just a cropped um, hoodie as well as my you know it, H&M sweatpants. Truly the most worn pair of sweatpants together with the Brandy Melville one. I was thinking for next month, maybe I'll do like a best looks of the month. So I can only feature the looks that are different, are more styled up. And now let's move on to the 
book review of this month. I read four books or rather listened to four audiobooks this month. The first one is The Argonauts by Maggie Nelson. So this is a memoir plus essay type of book. It definitely felt really intimate and genuine and it posed questions to make you think about gender, sexuality, building a family, etc. So I overall enjoyed the read. I will say that at times it definitely felt like you are listening or reading a long essay versus a memoir. So not my favorite favorite type of memoir style so i'm going to give it a three out of five but i do think the topics are really important and it's an insightful book if you want to kind of peek into the queer family life the next book was around the world in 80 days by jules verne or verne i don't know how to pronounce his name Although it is a very classic book, listening to the book now in the year of 2023, it felt extremely dated, especially when um, one of the main characters, Passport 2, couldn't believe that there is a time difference when you go to different parts of the world. It's written in 1872, so how many over a hundred years ago and it definitely was shown in the writing and this makes me wonder you know do the classics truly stay classic and can be enjoyed centuries later i'm not sure it is the case for this book even though it was basically the pioneer of sci-fi novels this definitely didn't feel like a science fiction to me and there were also so many colonial connotations towards different countries and cultures so it definitely just made me feel really uncomfortable reading it i don't think it's a novel that at today's day and age will be beneficial or entertaining and i just give it a one because i just don't i don't even know who would enjoy this novel next book that I read or listened to was Vicious by the Shrub. So I listened to um, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by the same author. So the premise is there are a group of people called Eos, Extraordinaries, and they basically gain super, different superpowers when they reach a near-death experience. So it explores the dynamics of brothers' um, relationship with each other when they both discovered that they had superpower because of their near-death experiences. I really like how the novel examines the dynamics between being a superhero and a villain. I give it a 3 out of 5. It was really entertaining premise, um, but I do think the plot could be a little bit more complex and intricate. The fourth book that I listened to this month was Happy Hour by Marlo Granados. This just is not my type of book or novel in general at the moment. Last month I talked about my year of rest and relaxation. It gives me kind of similar vibe to this book in terms of the writing style. Basically nothing really happened. There's not really plot twist. So if you're looking for you know the excitement of a page turner, this is definitely not that. It's fun to read a book about not so beloved characters but I also feel like because the main characters in this book are all around the age of 21 I've outgrown that age and the book heavily you know talks about the lives in New York and I currently live in New York so I thought I would find a lot of things being relatable but because I'm no longer at that age and I've kind of grown my own set of values so I just find myself disagreeing with a lot of the opinions in that book for that reason I'm giving this a 2 out of 5 and whoa I am very overexposed to this all of a sudden very bright but i hope you enjoyed this month's looks and books and i will see you in one of these ones bye